at all times. Any unattended baggage will be removed and may be destroyed by security services. Mind the gap between the train and the platform. Mind the gap. Everybody, you will be pleased to hear and surprised to hear that we're running on time. Well, hey, there's a first time for everything. We are doing open BVE this evening, something a little bit different that a few people have requested and something I've uh, banged on about quite a lot, so I thought we'd give it a go in the stream. So, 2030, we're due to start. That's 8.30 as TR9 train spotting says in the chat and uh, running on time this evening. So grab yourself a cup of tea or something stronger if you're allowed and I'll be with you very very soon.
Passengers are reminded that smoking is prohibited at all stations and on all train services. This includes e-cigarettes. is a safety announcement. It is not the Hello everybody. Hello and welcome. 2030, we're on time. I can't believe it. It's absolutely brilliant. So um, just before we jump into the stream, as always, I am going to put my declaration on the screen because if I don't do that, I might get sacked. <laughs> uh, all views and opinions, blah de blah de blah, and all that sort of thing. Kevin Bridgewater, welcome to Dad Rail. We've been going for like 20 seconds and we've got new subscribers. Fantastic. 42 of you lovely people in the stream at the moment. Uh, who have we got? Leo's Train, Sloffy, Maxwell, to mention but a few in there. Kentish Train Guy. Fantastic. Okay, guys, as I said um, earlier on, and I'm sure you saw in the thumbnail, we are doing Open BVE tonight, um, which is a game that I used to play back in the day, because it is uh, it is quite an old game now, although it's had a bit of a revival just lately. Um, for me personally, Open BVE's driving physics and some of the features that it's got in it are far, far, far better than those of Train Sim and Train Sim World. Now, obviously, its graphics are very, very much of the day, uh, of its day, um, and a bit dated now, but you'll see what I mean when we jump into the game. But there, there's lots of things that it's got in it that Train Sim World hasn't, and I think if Train Sim World, Train Sim Classic took some of the features from Open BV and integrated into it, they'd sort of have literally the perfect simulator. Um, Add Duck, I played it 10 minutes ago. <laughs> there we go, so it's still, it's still alive and doing well. So I am going to uh, see what's happening. I'm just going to make sure the Discord's working uh, tonight, guys, because on the last stream we had a few issues with the Discord. Um, so before we jump in, uh, live stream picture posts. There we go. David Leak, welcome to Dad Rail. So when I press that button there, we should get the Discord up. No, we're not working again. Do, 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 do. Discord server. There we go. Okay, so we're on the live stream picture post on Discord, guys. If you're not in the Discord server, link in the description of the video. 
If you head over to there, you'll need to verify when you go in now, which is a bit of an anti-spam measure. But if you have a head over to there, um, you can post your railway pictures. And I know someone's going to tell me off for this, so I'll scroll to the bottom and we're all good. Anyway, that's enough chatter from me. Let's jump straight into the game and see what happens. Not a lot. We've got a black screen, which is a good start. Right, so I'm going to get the game going. I thought it was going to show you guys the menu, but for some reason it isn't screen capturing the menu. Um, so I'll just load something up very, very quickly and we'll get on. Um, right, we'll do a 3 2 3. Uh, 2002, this timetable's based in. Uh, Redditch down to Birmingham, New Street on the Cross City South. We'll do an autumn run. Dry but cloudy, and we're going to do it in the class 323. So, hopefully, this is now going to work, and you're going to get it on your screen. Thought the camera was going to freeze for a second, then there we go, we're in. Uh, 39 errors, one warning, it says on my screen, but hopefully, we'll be okay. So, I'm just going to adjust my seat position so I like to sit a little bit higher, and I'll pan the camera down a bit. So I'll show you some outside shots and bits and bobs in a minute, but I'm just going to get the um, cab set up here. So... Uh, find the right button. Have you got game sound, so, uh, guys? You should have game sound, but if you could just let me know in the chat if the game sound's working, um, that would be brilliant. So I'm going to pan up as well. There we go. Everything comes to life. Headlights set to day running, which is that one. No starting signal, so we can reset the DRA into forward. And power watch two, and repeat the guards buzzer. So there we go, that is the first feature that this has got that I haven't seen in Train Sim World uh, or Train Sim Classic is guard dispatch, which is a really nice little feature. Uh, if you can hear it properly as well, the sounds in this, in my opinion, are awesome. If you don't know too much about OpenBVE, then what I would do is uh, Google OpenBVE and you'll find out everything you need to know about it. It can be a little bit of a pain in the backside to get it installed and everything. Um, but once it's installed and running, like I say, the game physics in it are really, really good. But there's lots of tutorials online on sort of how to do that and stuff. So we're 20 mile an hour out of here. You don't get very long to set up the cab, um, which is a little bit of a shame. And as you can see, like I said, the graphics are really, really dated on this. So there's the timetable. Uh, it's not particularly clear on my screen either. Um, Alf Church, Bark Green, Longbridge, Northfield, Kings Norton, Bourneville, Selly Oak, University, Five Ways and Birmingham New Street. As I understand it, this line as far as Redditch has now been doubled. So let's get a little bit of break in next with speeding. Get rid of the timetable. Are you still with me? There's no one talking in the chat. Has, has the chat broken? Have we broken the chat or are you just all quiet tonight? What is going on guys? No, the problem is my chat is not self-scrolling, just like I was saying the Discord wasn't. We're all still there. Right. That is why I can't see your comments. But I can now. Ah, uh, pressing all the wrong buttons now. Right. Okay, we're good up to 55. Let's get some power in. Yeah, sorry guys, I couldn't see your comment because my chat, um, for some reason, had to scroll down, but we're all good now. <laughs> right, so we're taking her up to 55. Um... So far, guys, what do you think about the sounds? TR9 trains, what we're just enjoying this week. Looks better than Train Sim World. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look bad, to be fair, but it is obviously very dated. But the kind of point, I mean, look at the way the train's bouncing around. It's really, really nice. Sounds are decent, yeah, Sloffy says in uh, Crazy Pep. 
if you consider as well this is freeware, you can go and download this. It'll run on pretty much any machine because um, it's it's not that sort of um, resource intensive. And sort of all the sounds and stuff, people have just gone out and recorded these off their own back. But, you know, people have sat down and just made made all these things out of love, and it's it's fantastic. So for something that's not going to cost you any money, there's quite a few routes available for it. There's London Underground. Um, honestly, Google Open PVE when the stream's finished, of course, and. Uh, and have a play on it. Flying Gamer, a couple of gate days off in the Publish and Work Colleagues. Lucky you. I have got some beers in the fridge and I will be drinking one of those a bit later on. Right, so I've got to remember where the horn button is on this now. Um, but we'll get some horn sounds at the whistle ball coming up. Uh, Maxwell, we're in a class 323. Three. Sorry, I should have mentioned that earlier on. <laughs> It has got some external views, and I'll show you the, the external views in a minute. Um, to be honest with you, I've, I've driven this route so many times and I can't remember where the speed restrictions are or the stations or anything, so it could be a bit interesting. So we're approaching... Alf Church, I think the station is. Um, if I press Control and C, yeah, I get a clock there, which is always handy. Uh, I think that's the station around the corner, so I bet get some brakes in. And we are a free car train, stopping on the free car mark. Richard, the train spot. Someone say beers again. I'm about to have one. <laughs> Yeah, we're down to 20 there. Nice stencil indicator. So the last time I actually played this was um, probably about two or three years ago. I made a video on my channel of me kind of sitting there playing it, talking. Um, but a few people have asked about Open BV and I'd mentioned it. Um, so I thought it'd be a good idea to play it. So 20 miles an hour into Alf Church, or Alf Church, I think it's called. Incidentally, if you... Um, go on YouTube there is a very nice clip of a conversation between a driver and a signalman at Wolf Church Station um, it's not uh, it's probably a little bit I don't know what would you say PG rated maybe <laughs> but yeah if you, if you have a Google of that later it's pretty good it's S car mark And it's opened the doors itself. I don't know if that's prototypical or not on this unit. You can set it up on Open BV so the driver opens the doors. So I'll just show you out, show you outside for a second. As you can see, look, there's there's kind of no modelling in the train. It's very, very dated. And you can only drive the routes in one direction because everything's only kind of modelled in one direction as well. Right, we've had two on the buzzer. Off we go. Liam Maxwell, good evening. TM, hopefully there's nobody on the overbridge. Yeah, that's the clip I'm talking about. You must have seen it. <laughs> we do have younger viewers in though, so... Uh... But that is the clip I'm on about. Dovetail need to hire these open BV devs because it's not half bad. I think, yeah, Train Sim World, Train Sim Classic, especially Train Sim World, it looks awesome. But some of the driving physics... Um, the sounds could be much better and like I said this is I mean I don't know being a development company whether they've got some strengths with licenses and stuff like that which of course if you're just developing for the fun of it you don't you don't necessarily have um, but for its age I mean this is like this route's based in I think I said 2002 or 2005 or something it's, it's crazy Adduck, yeah, train model sucks, but some others... There you go, vigilance going off there. Must reset that. Uh, this model sucks, but some of the others have interiors and working doors. Yeah, I'm... Um, I need to have a proper look into what OpenBV does now, because I believe the game's been updated a lot. There's been a bit of a resurgence in it lately. So I do I do certainly need to go back and have a, have a look at what's on offer now. Lovely AWS sounds and the signals as well when you do the night runs and stuff, the signals really stand out and glow. Yeah, TR9 train spotting open BV is completely and utterly free. 
Um, Jonathan Law, Network Mess Midlands looks even cooler. Yeah, I'm going to do a run on Network Mess Midlands after this one, if we've got time, which we should have. Mark, I was on an SC, I was an SC on this route till last week. Shunting from Monday, feel free to ask any questions. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll probably have a few as we go along, Mark, but I'm sure you'll be able to answer for us. There you go, yeah, TM, um, one to five hour humour conversation between driver and signaller, that is what you want to look up. Liam Maxwell, good question. How do double-headed freight trains work with the second locomotive? One yellow signal. Um, a lot of the time, Liam, the second locomotive is not actually powering. It is literally just there because they're transiting locomotives between locations. Nine times out of ten, um, especially if it's a class 66, nine times out of ten, the class 66 will be doing all the work on its own, the second locomotive. Although the engine may be running, it's, it's probably not powering. Sometimes, however, it will be powering, um, and you have a jumper cable that goes between the two locomotives. So if you look between the two locomotives, you'll see a, a, a cable linking the two together. If you've got the jumper cable, then it means both locomotives are powering, and uh, yeah, just it, it drives just like a multiple unit, then you use control in the front and it powers both locos. Yeah, there is a 158 on this route as well. Um, I haven't downloaded the 158. Um, but there's some kind of faster runs with it, which is quite nice. So just coming around the corner into Bark Green, you've got nice flange noises as well, um, which is something I haven't heard in Train Sim World or Train Sim. It may be there, but I haven't heard it. Red ahead. We have a green. That's close enough, we'll take that. So step three, neutral is my driving procedure as you know. The departure is expected in 10 seconds. T09 train spotting, is the southwestern main line in open BV? I don't think so. Into forward, repeat the guard's buzzer. And we're 15 till we get out onto the main line. If you go down the line to the left, um, the line we're going onto, that takes you down to the Licky Incline. That <laughs> Tabra, RIP Roblox. <laughs> These passengers are lovely. I also played the Scotland route from Edinburgh to Aberdeen. The quality is pretty good. Yes, I remember playing that one back in the day, if it's, if it's the same one. Um, and the quality is very good on that. It's a long old run as well. So this does have all the um, railway safety system simulated, TPWS, AWS, DSD vigilance. Um, they're all on there. I'm going to assume we're clear at the back and off we go. Um, if you approach a red signal or speed restriction too fast, you will get knocked out by the TPWS on this. There's no heads up display either, so you need to know your route, you need to know where your speeds are, where your stations are, which makes driving a bit more interesting and realistic as well. There's also um, a few routes that have got ATC fitted as well, I think some of the underground routes have got ATC fitted, so you just press a button and off you go. really standing out there. Okay, the HST on the right is static, but I know in OpenBV now it does support um, better shot for two years. It does support moving trains and animations and some of the other routes have got them. <laughs> the 
even though that is just a kind of static model and a preset sound, but the sound mixing on it is actually better than <laughs> Trains in Wales. Uh, the horn. There we go, the horn. Nice horn. 75 of you lovely people who would prefer to watch me drive a 323 on an outdated simulator than watch Saturday Night TV. That means I'm very good or Saturday Night TV is very bad. <laughs> right, one yellow. Um, if I don't get the braking, we will get knocked out by the TPWS. So if you are in the chat guys, um, then please do hit the like button and subscribe as well, that would be absolutely awesome. Today's stream is going to go on to about half past nine, quarter to ten, um, because afterwards I've got a Patreon only exclusive live stream. Um, my Patreon supporters and other people, one of their benefits they get is a uh, monthly exclusive live stream, and that just happens to be tonight. Um, which is a good opportunity for me to say if you do want access to that stream, <laughs> Uh, patreon.com forward slash dadbrow for more information about that. So there we go, you can see the red signal stands out really, really well. And we'll be doing 20 over the AWS magnet. I'm tempted just to set the loops off just to kind of show you how it works and that it does work. Yeah, everyone, everyone's saying how good the sound is and the detailing on the OHLE. Yeah, 20 at the AWS magnet. There we go. Green and position 1 route indicator. Uh, OpenBV also supports joystick. I'm not playing it with joystick. I'm playing it with keyboard. Um, but if you've got like a Thrustmaster joystick or anything like that, you can set the, the power handle up on the joystick, which is awesome. And it gives it that extra uh, level of realism, in my opinion. So there we go. 25 over the point. Now just listen, I'll oh, shut up, just listen to the noise across the points as well. the run sounds and the point sounds are just incredible. Um, I noticed when I was doing the Brighton Mainline the other day, coming in way too fast there for a free car, I noticed when I was doing the Brighton Mainline the other day there's kind of no sounds as you go across points or anything, it just stays the same. All stopped, um, two minutes 13 late for some reason, the timetable on this must be really really tight because I think I've been... Um, I think I've been driving it pretty well, but yeah, the timetable must be really tight. Cup of tea. Nation, my coin hunt. Well, then I just watched the signal driver conversation. Yeah, well worth a watch that one. Um, I would put a link in, but I know I've got a lot of sort of younger viewers watching, and it's probably not suitable for younger viewers. So I, I don't want to link to it. I do want to link to it, but I don't want to link to it. So we are off to uh, Longbridge, which is where the Rover car plant was, of course. And we're getting lots of cautionary signals, which is really nice. You will drive on cautionary signals a lot of the time, of course. Yeah, Kemp Fresh Lover, two yellows. It's amazing how much sounds can improve the realism of something that looks very basic. Yeah, you're absolutely right, um, Kemp Fresh Lover. When you do um, videos on YouTube, they always say you can get away with bad video quality, but you can't get away with bad audio. If your video is a bit shaky, people will forgive it, but if your audio sounds terrible, then it's, it's no good. So yeah, no, you're completely right. Sounds do make a difference. And I remember in one of the recent Dovetail game, Dovetail live streams, they were saying, you know, do they want the sounds to be true to life or do they want them to be you know uh, as we would expect them in game and it's a really hard balancing act to get that right
far too much brake step for it. I mean, we are driving a metro service, so maybe we can we can forgive ourselves a little bit. So let's have a quick look in the Discord and see what's been posted over there. Halloween, of course. Tr9 train spotting is posting Halloween pictures. Uh, we've got 707 there and lovely 66s at Eastley. I would say that was just coming round in towards Eastley. Uh, that Luke has posted. We do have a Halloween special live stream starting at uh, 22.30 tomorrow. That's because I'm going to a Halloween party before that. Um, and we're going to be doing a Halloween pun tour special. Uh, more about that later on. I'll tell you what, no, more about that now. So if, you, if you're in that stream tomorrow, and I realise it's a bit late for a Sunday night, um, we're going to be doing the Bakerloo line in the fog when it's getting dark, but of course... Um, and we're going to kind of have a few Halloween-y things going on as we go through the route. And what I'm going to want from the chat is kind of Halloween-based puns on all the station names. So, um, I can't think of any off the top of my head. But if we go into, like, um, I don't know, Harrow and Wheelstone. It could be, like, Harrow and Wheelstone. That's, that's a really bad example. Someone's going to make a meme of me saying that. <laughs> Right, one yellow, red ahead. Yes, yeah, so we're going to kind of go through the route tomorrow with um, sort of just want your puns in the chat and your kind of Halloween-y based railway puns, um, which should be interesting. Impartial Diamond, the amount of detail on this route is just spot on. The track is also very realistic. Maxwell Wayne Shepherd, Dabra, I believe you're going to the same party as me. Could be Max. It could be. I think I am because I'm taking you there. <laughs> right, we've stepped up to green, so off we go. I believe the speed limit drops down to 40 or 60 in a minute as well. Sam Brooks, have you driven the Jubilee line on BB? Yes, Sam, but not for a very long time. They do also simulate an open BVE lower degen very well. Um, you will slide through stations if you're not driving properly in the autumn. Very well simulated. So we're coming into Northfield. See, so this is how old this game is. We've got like EWS 37s there. Oh, we're down to 40. Ah, trip the TPWS. <laughs> it had to be done. It does work. I've done it on purpose. I wanted to prove that it was simulated. Now the guard's telling me to draw forward. <laughs> right, so we've got the red flashing light, as you can see there. Um, so what you do in real life, this is exactly how it works in real life. You press the AWS reset button. The light will go static. You then got 60 second timeout. Um, so we've just got to wait 60 seconds for it to time out, really. Uh, let's go to that while we're waiting. So, uh, tell me guys, what do you think of Open BVE so far? Have you got Open BVE? Have you played it before? Are you considering downloading it after watching this stream? I'd be really, really interested to know. Also, just a quick note, I've got my, my Patreon names down there. I had a couple of new Patreons. I put your names in, um, but the file didn't export correctly. But you will be in the next one. <laughs> your names will be in there uh, in the next stream, I promise. Uh, Cactus Powerhousey, hello. Spadrail, not quite Maxwell, not quite. But we're certainly having a conversation with the manager when we get back. This is very prototypical, it still hasn't timed out. We're still waiting for that TPWS to do its 60 second timeout. And it won't let me go. I should have my DRA set. There we go, it's timed out now. Off we go then. We're coming into, yeah, Kings Norton. I had to do something wrong. I had to spad or something. <laughs> Appears your maps are one station behind. Yeah, I think that was my fault, actually. The um, I read the wrong station name out. Uh, 
2D people. Right, 45 for Anne. We've got a nice banner repeater there. Cactus Powerhouse, is this train simulator? I know we are doing open BVE today. Uh, this is the Cross City South Line by, I believe it was created by, I want to say Anthony Bowden from Rail Sim Routes UK, but someone's going to correct me on that. Um, this is a very old route. Um, the people just joining the stream, it's, a, it's an old route, we're sort of talking 10, 15, maybe 20 years old. Um, but it holds its own in terms of the sounds are fantastic, the driving physics are fantastic, and the actual driving simulation of it is brilliant. BVE stands for Boso View Express. It was a game created originally by uh, someone called Michel, I believe, or it might be Michel that made open BVE. <laughs> I really should do my homework. Um, but it was originally a Japanese train simulator. Um, back in the day, you used to have a nice little grey bar down the outside. You had BVE 2, then BVE 4, um, and then there was kind of open BVE, which was a spin off of it, which made a lot more features available. Up to 60, right, Bourneville's the next station to stop. We'll also get animation on the OA, the overhead gap as well. So if I leave it wide open, going through the overhead gap, it is possible it will blow the brokers. Someone has just pledged to me on Patreon, thank you very, very much. Uh, I'm unable to see your name at the moment because I still haven't set that up on my screen. But I'll be in contact with you afterwards and I'll give you the link for the Patreon only live stream. Right, I'm going to go straight through this station. Uh, we're coming into Bourneville, home of Cadbury's Chocolate. Yeah, the gradients on this uh, are very well simulated as well, they really do affect the train. And the brake gauge is correctly simulated as well. You see we're only getting one bar. When we get below 10 miles an hour, the fade happens if I didn't release the brakes. And the brake gauge would come up. You can see now the brake gauge is coming up. So when you're in dynamic brake, uh, rear static or regenerator, if you don't, you don't, you get like just one bar or half a bar of air brake. And then when you get below 10 miles an hour, the air brake comes in full. Um, they've simulated that really well as well. The, 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 I say all but the graphics, everything else on here is super accurate. It's really well done. TM, are you limited to 50 mile land with under shunt signals? I noticed that train signal usually has a speed limit set for 15 when shunting. Um, not necessarily. It depends on the rules of the yard or depot you're shunting in. If you're out on the main line doing a main line shunt, the reason it will normally be 15 is because all, mar all unmarked um, crossovers between tracks are 15 miles an hour. But most yards and sidings will actually be 5 miles an hour um, unless otherwise stated. So, yeah, generally speaking, yard sidings and depots is a five mile an hour speed limit imposed. So, we go around the corner into University, I want to say, is the next station stop. Just check my emails, which I shouldn't be doing while I'm driving along. Yeah, Joshua Brown, thank you very much for your pledge on Patreon. Very much appreciated. Um, and that's why you don't use your phone when you're driving, because now we're going to overrun. And this is not university, is it? So like I say, you've got no heads-up display on this, so you do kind of need to be a little bit more on the ball when you're driving. Um, you need to know your route a little bit. Skip rail. Hashtag <laughs> skip rail. <laughs> well done, Max. I like it. I do. I like it. So let's have a quick look in the Discord while we're loading up there. Halloweeny. Yeah, the new um, DB Cargo 66, whatever number it is, because I'm really bad with numbers. What do you think of the green livery, guys? 
I, I need to see it in real life, but I'm not too keen on it, to be perfectly honest with you. Let's move that camera up, chopping, chopping the top of my head off. There we go. Right, so that station was Selly Oak. Um, 56, we should have been away. It's now 59, so we're three minutes down. Uh, next station, University. this route as well I know in um, Train Sim Classic so I think in the next couple of weeks um, I'm going to get it on Train Sim Classic and have a little play and kind of do a little bit of a comparison. I mean the graphics will be much better of course as to be expected. Hypocritical, save the planet green with a clack of a shed, yeah very false advertising says TR9 train spotting. Stations way too fast. Almost a perfect stop. Coincidence, there is also a university in Hong Kong and the route is available in Open BVE, says Jonathan Moore. Maxwell, we're not skipping anything. Into forward, that's always helpful. Off we go. P888 UK, KFC has arrived. Time to sit back, enjoy some chicken and trains. Perfect combination, that's my idea of a good evening. ITZ Springs, hello! So we're 50 at the moment, we're heading down towards Five Ways. Uh, it does drop to 30 somewhere as well up here. Like I say, this is the, literally the first time I've driven this route since I made the previous video on it, um, which has got to be at least two or three years now. Crouching Tiger Hidden, Adam, hello, welcome to the stream, uh, you are of course one of my Patreons, so thank you very much as always, uh, in Birmingham the conductor opens the doors, that is very good to know, that is exactly how it's simulated on here, yeah, P888 UK sounds like a plan, I might have to do that myself in a minute. Jackman 2007, I'm pulling into Lewis in the 313. Yeah, there's our warning for the 30. Um, we bounce around on these corners a bit too much, if I remember right. We were kind of low in the place. Two yellows, clears to green. It's like when we go through the tunnels now, guys. I think it's just really well done with the, the way the sounds of the lighting are done. Virtue, have you driven Network West Midlands in Open BV? Yes, several times. That used to be my go-to route. Um, I used to know uh, Network West Midlands off by heart. I could drive um, Maybank to... I can't even remember the name of the terminating station. <laughs> I could do Maybank to Ludgate Hill uh, quite easily. I could do via the Salford Loop quite easily. And I could do down to... I want to say Harwich for some reason. Is it Harwich it terminates at? Maybank to somewhere. Yeah. Leo's train seem to be a very busy route. I believe in real life this is a very busy route. It's the main corridor uh, in and out of New Street. Very congested line. Robert, loving the stream. Thank you very much. Hammerwitch, Ludgate Hill. Thank you very much. Yeah, small chopper. <laughs> I said Harwich. I was almost there.
Robert, what happens if you overshoot stop marker and what are the consequences? Um, if you overshoot a stop marker but not the platform, then happy days, providing you haven't gone past any signals or anything. If you overshoot the platform, then one or two things is going to happen. If you've got, if it's only like one set of doors that's off the platform, you'd report it to the signaller, um, and then basically you would just go back and you would lock out the set of doors that's off the platform manually. Then you'd release the rest of the doors and happy days. On some units like the 375, I expect most passenger units, you can actually lock out the um, doors manually from the MyTrack screen. Um, another Patreon subscriber, thank you very much. Uh, I should be in contact as soon as the stream has finished. If I can get your name up on my phone, I'll call you out as well. Chris Hillard, thank you very much, Chris. And another one, it's going mental today. Uh, Chris Hillard, I think you may have, you may have pledged twice. But thank you very much all the same. Yeah, now if you've only put your doors off the end of the platform, your first set of doors off the end of the platform, you, you've manually locked them out and opened them up. If you've put like half the train or, or quite a lot of the train off the platform, then what you would do is you contact the signaller, uh, report it, uh, then you're either going to get permission to set back into the platform, which may or may not happen. If, if you've gone too far and there's a train right behind you, they probably won't authorise you to. Uh, but if you're kind of on a country branch line and you're one train an hour, it's more likely you can get permission to set back. Um, if you don't get permission, then you just continue to the next station and uh, wait for your manager to get back. Two yellows, we're down to 20. Need to watch my speed. Right, I'm going to be quiet as we come into Birmingham because the station announcements. Again, this is licensing. You couldn't do this if you needed the licenses. Um, the station announcements are superb. Now, this normally lags as well. Well, my old computer used to lag coming into here, so uh, let's see what happens as we come into Birmingham. Look at that 86s or 87s or whatever. Oh, that's showing its age then. Fantastic. I can't remember the chap's name that have done the announcements um, there. But Network West Midlands, which we're driving at the moment, he also done, which is a fictional route, he also done all the announcements for that. Phil Sayer, thank you, uh, Small Chopper. I believe, sadly, as well, he passed away um, quite recently. But yeah, he, he actually come onto the, the fictional Network West Midlands route, which we'll have a little go at in a minute, I think. He um, he actually done some sounds for that, which is pretty awesome. Step three, DRA into neutral. Oh, no announcement. Birmingham New Street, this is Birmingham New Street. The train now standing at platform 8A is the 1009 Central Train Service to Litchfield Train Plan. Calling at Aston, Gravelly Hill, Erlington, Chester Road, Wild Green, Southern Goldfield, Four Oaks, Butler's Lane, Blake Street, Litchfield City and Litchfield Train Plan. I'll, pro I'll probably get a copyright strike off of YouTube for that. Yeah, um, Phil Sayer. He was, he was friends with the developer, Steve Green, who was obviously the Network West Midlands developer. So like I say, guys, yeah, do um, Google Open BVE. It can be a bit of a pig to get it installed, but it is well worth it. Some really good routes available for it as well. So I think what we might do is jump into uh, Network West Midlands and have a little drive on that, which is a fictional route. Um, 
but it's it's kind of a more I mean there's some suburban stuff on it there's some overhead stuff on it there's some non-electrified stuff on it it's it's a really good route some of the other things that open BV has got on you've got trackside workers and when you blow your horn the trackside worker will put their hand up and acknowledge you've got emergency and temporary speed restrictions that are simulated on it really well you've got low adhesion which is simulated really well um, in my opinion in my humble opinion in, in terms of driving physics and the sounds and, and the way this drives it is still the best simulator on the market train sim world train sim classic are brilliant the, you know all the systems they got simulated on them is superb the graphics are superb but they haven't quite nailed the driving physics in my opinion i think a lot of that could be down to sound obviously they've got different issues with licensing and stuff like that um, but yeah, in my opinion, this is completely free. It'll run on nearly any machine. Hope <laughs> go and Google it and have a play with it when the stream's finished, of course. Um, exit to main menu. I think the screen might go blank now. We'll see. Uh, I know you still got me on the screen. Right. While I'm setting up Network West Midlands, let's jump into the uh, Discord. Joshua's putting some pictures up there of Five Way Station on the uh, train sim um, train simulator. If you're not in the Discord already, there is a link in the description below. Uh, I'm just going to hope that I can get Network West Midlands to load up. Uh, now, unfortunately, I've only got the Class 323 installed train-wise at the moment, so I'll have to find a 323 running. Uh, Maybank to Hobbs Cross free car service. Um... There's freight as well as simulated on this, and the freight is actually simulated really, really well. I just want to see if I can find a sort of shortish route. Uh, Maybank's hob cross is kind of very long. I know you can't see what I'm looking at at the moment. Yeah, that's the only 323 one on there, so we go with that one. Uh, I haven't tried loading this up since I installed it as well, which is probably a, a schoolboy error, should we say. <laughs> but hopefully it'll be okay. Let's press the button and see what happens. 83 people in, smash that like button, Richard the Train Spotter says. Yeah, like and subscribe. Help the YouTube algorithms to find my content. That would be superb. Lawrence Adams, working on the railway was the best job I ever did. I can't disagree with there, Lawrence. It's a, um, it can be a challenging environment sometimes, but it is a good place. Sloffy, thanks for joining uh, us. Uh, see you in the Discord. Right, I think this is working. It's working. So you can see it looks completely different to the Cross City South. This was actually released, um, I believe, a lot later than the Cross City South by a completely different developer, completely different textures and everything. So we'll have a little drive in this um, and then see what see how we get on, really. Robbie Ray, welcome to Dabrail. We've got radio sounds there as well, which I didn't notice before, which is really good. Right, uh, pan up. Dad rad, I got a pun. Good fright, everybody. Say so that's what we want in the Halloween stream tomorrow, but hopefully slightly better quality, Max. <laughs> right, we've got two yellows, so we are okay. Put it into forward. We're a free to free service on the uh, Network West Midlands route, which is a, a complete network of routes um, for open BVE. You can also download this one. Completely free, as was the last one. We are in forward. Power notch two. I have not driven this for about ten years, so if I go through a few stations, then uh, do forgive me. So let's get the timetable up. Uh, it's quite a long run, as you can see. This is an hour and ten minute run. Uh, we won't be doing the whole run. We'll probably get down to Frankly Junction, I would say. Uh, Maybank, Blackford, Whitminster, Washpool, Riverside, Kings Road, Clifton Green, Ridge, Dorley, Burntwood, Frankly Junction. Rockley, Radley Junction, Grange, Cottingham, North Midland Junction, Nuthurst North, Norton, Brookfield, Stevenson Junction, Hogcross at 11.20. The good thing about Network West Midlands is there's also quail maps available for it that come with the download file. So you can, yeah, animated bus journeys there. It's an annoying point at the screen. Yeah, there's also, um, there are quail maps for this. So you can actually download the maps uh, as you drive the route, which is really, really handy. Because obviously you've got no, no heads up display or anything like that. Oh, 
off we go. Right, first station is Blackford. As I said earlier, um, I haven't driven this for a long time and there's no heads up display, so we're kind of just going to be winging it. <laughs> we don't overshoot anything. Maxwell Wayne Shepherd is Mumrail working. Yes, Mumrail, who works for the NHS, all NHS stuff, of course, um, is working tonight. She's very happy about that because, of course, the clocks go back, so it means she's doing an extra hour. Two yellows. So I don't think the station's too far away. This is this is going to be interesting. Now there's another tunnel first. Leo Strange, glad to hear you're liking the stream. Lawrence Adams, can't wait to watch your Baker Who line. Ah, oh, yeah. See, that's that's what we want, Lawrence. That's what we want tomorrow on the Halloween special. If you want a basic route map of location of your train, you can press F. Oh, okay, that's a new feature. That wasn't there um, previous times I've played this. That is a new feature. I'm assuming it's a new feature because I've never known about it before. We've got gradients on there as well. Yeah, so I, I would say this is more of a proper driving simulator rather than a game, um, in my opinion. Yeah, there's the station. I knew it was there somewhere. Yeah, animated van. So this is obviously a little bit newer than the Network West Midlands. You've got sort of more animation on this. Um, I believe the trains may even be animated on the other lines. We'll, we'll find out in a second. What a beautiful stop. Step one all the way in. No, we need we need a bit of two to get on the free car mark. No, we need a bit of three. Completely mucked it up. Vigilance going off as well. Underrun 1.5 meters. Anyway, I have got to manually open the doors on this, which would be F5. No, I haven't. They've already opened. <laughs> What are we doing? Doors are open. You've got a little icon down at the very bottom of the screen underneath the um, speedo. Reese's Transport Videos, welcome to Dadrail. We are nearly at 9,000 subscribers, guys, which is awesome. Uh, hopefully, we're going to get there over this weekend. Right, banner repeater is off. Um, technically, I should have set the DRA at that station, actually, because the previous signal was one yellow, which means the DRA should have been set. Green, we are off to uh, Black uh, Whitminster, I believe that's pronounced. Look, motorway traffic speeding along there. Friday should be known as Freightliner Friday. Really hard to judge your speed coming out of the tunnel there, exactly the same as it is in real life. Um, tunnels can be, especially if you've got red signals in tunnels, can be an absolute nightmare to judge your speed. free on the buzzer all the time. I'm not sure. It says under run 2.1 metres. Um, conductor's obviously a little bit fussy on this service. 
Uh, you can tell this is a little bit more modern as well because we've got the London Midland livery over on the right there, uh, which shows shows that we're a little bit more up to date. At Dad Row Freak Day. <laughs> What's going on in the Discord? Let's have a little look while we're waiting. Oh, what's that 313? Is that like a Tyne and Weir Metro livery at the bottom there? That looks pretty, pretty awesome. TR9, which one is better? 387s or 313s? I love the 313, the Train Sim World of Release. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right, back into the game. Ah, uh, the buzzer always goes off on this route. A bug, I guess. Okay, there we go. We've got a green. And we're off to... Washpool. To Charlie, to Seven. Five of you lovely people, let's see if we can get this video up to 100 likes, that would be awesome. Vigilance. I'm trying to remember where the next station is, I think I go around the corner and through another tunnel. Um, that's my memory of it. So some of the scenarios you play, you can get a position 4 route indicator here and go around what's known as the Salford Loop. Uh, which is diesel only. There's some really nice diesel stock simulated for this. There's a 170, 158, 156, 150. Actually, there's loads, to be completely honest with you. So I believe we've got another tunnel and then we've got the station. Trust me to do an all, all station service on the route I don't know very well. And I believe the speed limit goes down to 40 in a minute as well. And there's TPWS loops. Uh, let's get some brakes here. I know there's a station around here somewhere. Yeah, animated, animated Tampa. Yeah, we go down to 40, and um, I know for a fact that there's TPWS loops on that one. If you're running a fast service and you don't get it down, you will trip loose. Yeah, my, my speed judging and braking is really bad on this. Ooh, just about making the stop car mark. What have we got going on there? Fabian, did you try the train crew demo? Uh, train crew demo? No, I haven't heard of that one, but I shall have a look at it. Lawrence, Richard, thanks, but I'll have a look. I have Train Sim World on PS4, but I'm having problems. That's my vigilance. I have South Eastern, but can't drive the Class 66 or Class 377 on the London to Brighton line. Uh, do you have the London commuter, Lawrence? You'll need the London commuter in order to do that. The weird dude, Dad Rouse stream, yay. Oh, how long have we got? 20 seconds. 20 seconds in the Discord. Nothing's changed. Legendary Gaming, welcome to Dad Rail. 109 of you lovely people in the chat. Uh, if you're not in the Discord already, link in the description below. My new subscriber covered up my overlay there. Uh, live stream picture uh, channel. We're in the live stream picture post channel. You put your pictures in there. I shall get them up on the screen. We are going to King's Head, I want to say the next station is. Oh, Riverside, then King's Head. That was pretty close, though. Yeah. 
69 likes, guys. Come on, let's see if we can get it up to 100. There's 102 of you watching. Just smack that like button. That would be absolutely awesome. It takes you like two seconds and means so much to me. And so much to the YouTube algorithms. Freight trains in loops. Oh, never. That never happens. Let's see if we've got sound. Flashing tail lamp as well. stereo audio as well on this you do get the, the sounds on the left and the right are really well mixed in. That looks like a pendo. indicator is illuminated and we are free for the free making sure we don't stop on the magnet working clock as well which is nice old school see because they're not constrained by licenses as well you kind of get all like the coca-cola on the vending machine and all the shop names and everything else uh, which is quite nice Oh, that conductor's fussy. Lawrence Adams, Richard, I'm at work at the moment, but won't be home till 7am. Uh, you've got a good job, Lawrence, if you're at work watching me. That sounds like the sort of job I would like. Blake's Bass. How is OpenBB in terms of sound simulation and feel and content? It's not one I've seen much. Um, Blake, in my opinion, the sounds are brilliant. The simulation aspect of it is very, very good. The content is, um, there's a lot of fictional routes, there's a few real routes for it. Uh, if you want a game that sort of gives you a real insight into train driving and the skills you need to drive a train, then OpenBV is for you. Uh, I'm sure some of the people in the chat as well will sort of tell you that, how good the sounds are. The sounds are really good. Ten seconds for departure. 102 of you lovely people in. Off we go. So we're off to, now it's King's Road, isn't it? King's Road. So all of the tunnels, junctions and everything in this route have got names. And like I said, there is a set of um, quail maps included as well, which is really nice. So you can really learn the route properly. Nationwide coin hunt, if only this had better graphics, it would have so much more potential. I believe there's a lot of uh, routes that have been updated for this which have far better graphics. Um, like I say, I'm very much out of the loop when it comes to Open BBE at the moment. Um, de graphics are definitely of its time, that, that, is, that is fair to say. Uh, but I, I believe in the last few years there's been a bit of a resurgence with people building new routes and stuff and improving on it. If you look at the screenshots of the uh, West Coast Mainline by Anthony Bowden, which I believe was never actually released, it looks awesome. It's probably as good as Train City World in terms of graphics. Um, unfortunately, that was never released. As far as I know, it was never released. Yeah, Lawrence, um, a few people saying in the chat that you need a PS5 in order to get the London commuter. It doesn't work on PS4. <laughs> T09 train spotting, thanks very much for joining us, bud. Let's get some brakes in. We're not overshooting. You will also get put in the loops in some of the scenarios as well and go through different platforms, which is nice. Is that a Desi? It's like a 450? Can't be a 450, can it? Because they're third rail only. 350, that's the one. Close enough. Pixelated one, of course. 
Free for the free. Ah, uh, stop car marks hiding around the corner. Beep, beep, beep. Small chopper Anthony Bowden was a legendary developer. He left in 2011 because of family life. Yeah, I can completely appreciate that with... Um, I mean, obviously, I work full-time as a train driver and then doing YouTube as well. It can be pretty full-on. The amount of arguments I have with um, hashtag mumrail over it is... <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. Uh, thank you very much to whoever has just pledged to me on Patreon. That is very, 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 very much appreciated. Um, Sam Brooks. Thank you, Sam. I should be in contact once this stream has finished. Seb, what route is this? This is the Network West Midlands route. Uh, nationwide coin hunt. You can only see Gatwick 387s or Southern 377s if on PS4. But on PS5 you can see freight and South Eastern and Great Western Railway services. Uh, there we go. That makes sense. So, you, uh, Lawrence, from what I understand, then you can get the route on PS4, but you won't always get the Gatwick Express. Uh, you only get the 387s and 377s. You won't see any of the South Eastern or Great Western trains on it. Oh, I assume they've kind of skinny that down for uh, performance purposes. Yeah, Fishbowl, you should compare this to the Open BV Cross City to the Train Sim 2022 one. That is exactly uh, what I intend to do. Um, it's, it's certainly on my list of, uh, of downloads to do and uh, reviews to do. Mr. Woods, you're, I'm feeling a bit like that. 103 of you lovely people in. Let's see if we can get it up. Let's see if we can get the likes up to 100. That would be awesome. So I think we're going to do a couple more stations on this now. So we're going down to Clifton Green Bridge. And I'm bound to overrun Clifton. I've got no idea where it is. My route knowledge was sketchy before we got to here. Now it's even worse. The wipers work, yes. Uh, not that one, that's the TPWS. There we go, a little bit of a jump. But... Right, neutral section. I'm not going to shut off, it may chuck us out. Beautifully well simulated. Clifton Green Bridge has got to be around here somewhere. Please hit full speed and derail. Hashtag DabRail derail. We did have a derail in the last stream. The 313 stream I managed to derail it in, in the depot. Running through points. I should know better. Adam's Train 66, welcome to DabRail. Yeah, coming in way too slow because I don't know the route. Many casualties. <laughs> yeah, with regards to the wipers as well, you do get, um, if you put it when it's raining, you get rain uh, droplets on the windscreen and the wipers can function correctly to clear them. Uh, it's not the best physic in the world with the rain and stuff. But then, if you've got the rain set, you do get really good uh, wheel slip and uh, wheel slide physics as well, which is very nice. Brakes are really bad. All stopped. Let's have a look in Discord. We're all posting train simulator pictures today. Uh, let's have a little look. Are we kind of cropped out at the bottom of this call? There seems, seems to be something missing. Uh, no, there's only a little bit missing on there. That's all good. The Nutty Gamer. I've got a funny feeling he's my son. I don't know my son's Discord handle. That's really bad. Bad parenting. 
I'm not in neutral, uh, so I've got the DST going off. Off we go. Going to Dorley. Helios Transport, nice. Seb, how has your day been? Um, let's put the game back up on the screen. My day has been uh, unmotivated. I've got so much to do. We've, we're moving house in just under two, uh, just over two weeks. So much to do, and I just can't get motivated. I've got a week off of work to kind of get everything sorted out. Um, and yeah, it's, it's been a lazy day. It's been the Nutty Gamer, hi Dad. I hope you are my son. I am your son. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Ah, there we go. Temporary speed restrictions, just like I said. So that's a warning board for it. I tell you what, if you are my son, type your middle name in the chat. That's, that's a good way of uh, verifying who you are. You should be asleep in bed if you are. It's coming to tell you what. 170, central trains. Moving. Which son, though, Max? Yeah, I am. I am a father to four sons. Oh, <laughs> my root knowledge is really, really bad. So I just want to say a thank you to the um, guys in the stream that are moderating for me today as well. Uh, it all looks friendly, which is really good. You're all a good bunch tonight. But uh, thank you to all the mods. I didn't think I needed mods, but we had a stream a couple of weeks ago where there was a bit of unpleasantness. Uh, so now we've, we've got a little bit of moderation. Hopefully they're not over-moderating you. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't look like it. I'm keeping my eye on it. Star Wars moment, crouching tight. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> to be fair, he hasn't posted his middle name, so maybe it wasn't my son. Mr. Woods. Oh, I don't know how to respond to that. I genuinely don't know how to respond to that. Oh, we've got some island lines. So we've got some model railway pictures in the, um, in the live stream chat as well. A nice Deltic. Look at that. Do like a Dell Tech and a three seven. Looks like a free No, it can't be a three seven five. It's three seven seven because uh, it's got cameras on the side. So it must be a three seven seven. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, if you're not in the Discord, by the way, guys, um, link in the description below. Live stream pictures, uh, picture chat. Post it in there, that's the one I'm putting up on the screen. Right, temporary speed restriction, we've got the reminder board there. Um, you would use a reminder board if the speed restriction is located more than 300 yards uh, from the end of the platform. So basically that's just because we stopped at the station just to remind us that we the speed restriction. There is the 40. So we are off to, we've just done Dawley, we've got Burntwood, and then we will terminate today at Frankly Junction. There's our T-board, so we need to wait till the back of the train's passed, but we're doing less than 40 anyway, so we're good. Cloud texture looks better than TSW2. <laughs> It does actually, I think. It's not dynamic though, is it? So. Uh, that's a very short platform. Let's get some serious braking. Beep, beep, 
beep. We're all good. So we're going to go down to the next station, guys, and then we are going to terminate on this route. Do tell me what you'd like to see in future strings. So I feel like we've done Train Sim World 2 to death. Obviously, there's more routes on it that I could do. Um, but if you want to see any sort of more Train Sim World, Train Sim Classic, Open BVE stuff, I can do some of the underground stuff in Open BVE, then um, do let me know in the chat because I'm completely open to, to suggestions. Uh, maybe you want to see other games. <laughs> Transport Fever 2, I really like. City Skylines, anything you like. We, 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 can, we can sort of do that, whatever, whatever the majority want. We're a, we're a democratic society around here, honestly. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to terminate at the next station, and the reason for that is we uh, normally have to complete the route. But obviously, we've done the Cross City South already, and I've got a Patreon-only exclusive live stream tonight. Uh, one of my Patreon benefits is that we do exclusive live streams just for the um, Patreons. Um, so that is happening tonight, which is why we're going to wrap up a little bit earlier. But it'd be great if you're all about tomorrow night, half past ten, for the Halloween spooky ghost train ride on the Bakerloo line, uh, with all your Halloween puns required in the chat, please. Uh, that'll be at, uh, be at ten o'clock, tw oh, sorry, 22.30 um, tomorrow evening. I know it's late for a Sunday, but if you are about, it would be awesome uh, to see you there. If you want to get in on the Patreon live stream as well, I'll... Um, Put the Patreon link up on the screen now. Patreon.com forward slash DadRail. I have no idea what we're doing in that stream yet. We are kind of... There, there won't be any sort of more than maybe 15, 20 people in it. It's just a little bit more into that. Um, a lot more laid back. So much so that I'll have a bottle of beer in my hat. And that's kind of a go with the flow. Really chilled out. Kind of what you want to do. Sort of stream. Um, yeah, just kind of a casual. That sort of thing. Which is really nice. So yeah, if you want to come into that, then uh, patreon.com forward slash dadrail, and you'll find everything you need to know over there. Also, guys, if you haven't already, come on, 98 if you're still here, which is awesome. Uh, we have a new Patreon supporter. <laughs> As I've said that, we have a new supporter. I have to get my phone up to find out who it was. It hasn't come... I've got it. It's come through on my computer screen, but it hasn't come through on my phone yet. I don't get your name up, unfortunately, on the computer screen. Um, but whoever you are, I should be in contact very soon. Yes, yeah, so the line that's coming from our right, that is the other end of the Salford Loop. Uh, James Oates, thank you very much for your pledge, James. Yeah, the line that's just coming from our right, that is the other end of the Salford Loop. That is, if we turned off earlier, that's where we'd come back up to the main line. And uh, we're overshooting by Country Mile. Doors are open, and for today, that is it. <laughs> We've been going for, oh, 1 hour 26. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. So, um, guys, it'd be absolutely fantastic if you're about tomorrow, 22.30, um, for the Bakerloo Line Ghost Train pun to Halloween pun to special. Um, that would be awesome. It's The stream's on there now, so you can click on the stream and click on the little bell icon. And you'll get notified when that goes live. If you're not already, guys, then I've pressed the wrong button. That I've got an absolute habit of doing. <laughs> Wait for that to clear. If you're not already, then you can follow me on social media. Uh, Facebook.com forward slash dadrail. Twitter.com forward slash dadrail. Of course, Discord. Link in the description below. And before you leave, before you click off, if you haven't already, please just do hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. It takes you like two seconds. And helps the YouTube algorithms to find me. So that is it for tonight, guys. Uh, let me know in the either in the chat or in the comments section of the video or social media or anywhere else what you'd like to see uh, in future streams, and we will work towards that. So for now, anyway, cheers, guys, and I shall see you all hopefully later on tonight or tomorrow. I always press the wrong button at the end of the streams. So I've got to get this right. Wait.